Harry is a man of contradictions. It makes him not only into an interesting uh, character uh, for literature, but also a guy that I would like to know better. The Norwegian pronunciation of Harry Hole is Harry Hole. Harry is um, in a bad place. Um, he's, uh, not because he's in, uh, in uh, Los Angeles, um, but uh, because his life has been destroyed. That happened at the end of the last novel. So he has, he has gone to uh, Los Angeles to drink himself to death. And he is about to succeed um, when he meets an older woman who is in trouble um, with a drug cartel. And at the same time, he is offered a deal um, in Oslo. There's a rich guy there who is uh, a suspected man for having killed two young girls. And he's offering a lot of money to have Harry come back and uh, solve the case. Um, so uh, he's going back to Oslo. Uh, to get some money for this woman who's in trouble. So this time it's not personal, this time it's for the money. I uh, chose to put Harry in Los Angeles because I spent some time there and it's a fascinating city and especially Laurel Canyon with its all its uh, uh, history of, of music, and Harry is a music man, so it was a natural place to, to, to place him. My favorite thing about Harry is that he's a man of contradictions. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a romantic cynic. Um, he's an outsider working for the establishment. Um, he is a man who is um, drinking himself to death. Um, he likes chaos and he's striving for order. Uh, so it makes him not only into an interesting uh, character uh, for literature, but also a guy that I would like to know better. And I spent like now 25 years getting to know him. Least favorite part about Harry is that he's too intense. Harry is the kind of friend when you spend the weekend with him, you don't call him back on Monday. I think definitely I've been influenced by American literature because my father was American and he brought American literature into our home. I think Mark Twain was uh, definitely uh, the first influence. Later on in life, um, I had my favorite um, detective novel author, Jim Thompson, in my life. And um, I, I read most of his work and his best work is still the best uh, crime fiction I've ever read. I don't want to answer that because it would be a spoiler because um, there's always the question whether he's going to survive Killing Moon. Working on a novel that's bordering on a horror novel uh, came quite natural to me. I was, uh, when I was a kid, I was always the kid they asked to tell the horror stories. Uh, when we were going to sleep in the attic in, uh, during summer holidays. Not because I was the best storyteller. I always thought that, but they said that they could hear uh, the trembling in my voice as I told the stories. So I've, uh, uh, I've always been into horror stories. I think I have um, two favorite horror fiction writers, those would be um, Dixon Carr and Stephen King. Um, horror movies, uh, well, Stanley Kubrick, you to, I mean, Shining is still the best horror movie I've seen. 
I'm not even sure it's a horror movie.